Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. Today's haul is an HEB haul. It was $207 and some change. Earlier today, I went to Costco and spent $277. Uh, that, however, included some household items and about $22 of today's haul is toothbrushes and a dress. So, you know, I spent about $400 total on groceries today. You guys know my monthly budget is between five and six hundred dollars. That's where I like to stay. So about four hundred dollars is not bad at all. In the next two weeks, I'll definitely have to freshen up with some, um, or in two weeks, not within the next two weeks, in two weeks, two to three weeks, I'll have to freshen up with some fruits and veg, fresh fruits and vegetables, milk, things like that. But I think I'm pretty well stocked on my freezer and my pantry. So let's jump right in and see what we got at HEB today for $207. So as always, we'll start with pantry, bread items, things like that. The girls love Top Ramen. It is so bad for you, but they love it. And it's so inexpensive and it's like a quick lunch or dinner whenever I have nothing else prepared. So I let them, well, Emmy went grocery shopping with me. The little girls were in school, but I let Emmy pick out two. So we got a six pack of chicken, six pack of beef. I had one bread in the freezer that I pulled out earlier, so I just picked up one. This will go in the freezer for the next time. It's a Sara Lee Delightful 45 calorie bread. I have pizzas on the menu, and I could, I have the stuff to make my own pizza crust, but I wasn't sure if that's what I wanted to do or not, so I did pick up a whole wheat uh, thin and crispy pizza, just the H-E-B brand. There are two of them in there, and I have all the stuff to make homemade pizza with salad sometime. Over the next two weeks, I have some homestyle tortillas, just a 10 pack for the girls. I have some carb balanced tortillas for Hi, myself. Mommy. Hi, Autumn. And for her, Andres, this is an eight pack. You're drawing. You're drawing. Okay. I have some corn tortillas, either for enchiladas, for migas, or for, you know, whatever. I have some hot dog buns. I have hot dogs in the freezer that I'm pulling out. We're going to do that one night for dinner. I got the girls these cute little fruity mini sodas they actually are just like fizzy fruit drinks so i got two of the fruit punch two blueberry two orange and two pineapple those are 25 cents a piece super cute kind of bad for you but they're a nice little treat in their lunches one thing of homestyle baked beans two things of enchilada mild sauce two things of refried beans i have on the menu Mexican taco pie one night and enchiladas one night, so we'll use the beans for those. The um, Barilla, Barilla, whatever, I call it Barilla. The Barilla protein plus penne pasta, or all of the Barilla protein plus pasta was buy two, get one free. So I went ahead and picked up three. I didn't necessarily need this right now, but when it's on sale, I like to buy it because they're $2 a box. So I bought two, I got one free. Couscous, I have uh, chicken and green beans on the menu one night, and the couscous will go really nicely with it. Roasted garlic and olive oil. The dressing was 50, 50 cents off each, so it ended up being $1.75 per dressing. So I picked up a couple. I got a garlic Italian because if I, I have Italian chicken on the menu one night. Crock-Pot Italian chicken. And the girls use the light buttermilk ranch dressing. So I needed one for the fridge right now and I bought one as a backup since it was on sale. I was completely out of sesame uh, seed oil so I went ahead and just picked up a small one from Kickaman. I think it was like $3. Needed some mustard, I'm really the only one that likes it. So I just picked up a small bottle for myself. Mac and cheese I always like to have on hand just in case. So I picked up the regular elbow noodles and the shells. My taco shells got all beat up in the mix of things. I have tacos on the night on the menu one night, and I have used these for the topping for the taco pie. So I guess hopefully there are some that are good for tacos still. And I picked up two things of taco shells just for, again, tacos is always a good, quick, easy meal to go to. Emmy wanted some pickles, so I picked up this big old thing of pickles because we all love pickles in the house. So I got the kosher dills, and then I have cucumbers, and we can use, uh, put them in there and make cucumber pickles. They like to do that whenever the pickles run out and the juice is left over. So that was what I got for the pantry. Everything else, hi Autumn, <laughs> everything else is fresh fruits, vegetables, and frozen. These are the $22 worth of things that I picked up. Some cheap toothbrushes just to have as like backups. These were a dollar a piece. And then this really pretty dress that I wish I had found before I went on vacation. It's just yellow tropical sundress. 
So I got that as well. That was the $22, not part of my food budget. Okay, over here we have some white nectarines. These were kind of expensive. I feel like they were almost a dollar a piece, so I probably won't buy those again in the future. Um, a cantaloupe, one thing of cabbage for my you know, sausage and cabbage or ground beef and cabbage meal prep, some mandarins. We are completely out of all of the fruits and vegetables in our fridge, so I picked up the five pound bag of mandarins. Sorry, she's coloring, <laughs> she's just talking away. A big bunch of bananas, uh, four plums. Plums were on sale, so I wish I had picked up more of those and less of the white nectarines, but oh well. A few avocados, just a little avocados. I got the green ones so that they could sit out and ripen for a little while. The seedless grapes in this container are normally more expensive. They were a dollar off, which made them $6, and they're three pounds, so $2 a pound versus to 88 a pound and they looked pretty good. So I picked up one red, one green, one butternut squash. I have some organic grape tomatoes here that I like to put in either salsas or eggs. Uh, kiwi, the girls have really been loving. Oh, these are Italian kiwis. <laughs> um, the girls have really been enjoying kiwis as a snack, so I bought a big thing of that. Watermelons are coming back, I'm so excited. They were only 450, so I got a seedless watermelon. Three different things of apples. I want to say, let's see, these are Gala apples. Um, these are Fuji. One of them, hold on, one of them are Fuji. These are Fuji, and then these are Red Delicious. Yeah, so I typically pick up one bag for us, for myself and Andres, and then one red and one green. So instead, um, nobody wanted green this time, which is totally fine. So I got the Fuji for... Um, me and Andres and then I got the two I got a gala and a red delicious for the girls and I mean they're all gonna kind of look the same so we're just gonna have lots of apples this time around some baby carrots some zucchini I got three one pound packs of green zucchini some green beans just the wash and trim pack because I didn't want to mess with the one that wasn't washed and trim some cucumbers for salads and for snacking I tried these the last haul the mini peppers and I really liked them so I picked up another pack of mini peppers they were great with chicken fajitas great on salads I liked them a pack of the hearts of celery the already trimmed one a head of iceberg lettuce I got one eggplant for eggplant parmesan. The iceberg lettuce is either for taco salads or we are going to do, um, I bought romaine at Costco earlier today for salad, but we could also use it for lettuce wraps. Uh, some red pears, they were on sale, so I thought I got a few just to try them out. I don't think we've ever had red pears before, so we got three of those. Two sweet potatoes for, again, just like sweet potato fries or part of a meal. The honey, are they called honey lemons? Not lemons, um, mangoes. I think they were called honey mangoes. I got six of them, they were three for a dollar. They're little, but they're nice, just like little snack. Some golden delicious potatoes. I got these instead of russet and red. I thought that they would be a better pair with whatever chicken meals or steak meals I'm doing for the week or the next two weeks. Some spaghetti squash, two gallons of 1% low fat milk. Some pork chorizo. I buy these in packs of five because they're five for five dollars. So I'll leave one out for chorizo and eggs. We love that for breakfast or chorizo and beans. It's really good as well. Chorizo and beef. All of that is really delicious. I'll leave one out and freeze the rest. I picked up one of the cream cheese, the low fat. I'm not sure why it is in a different language and nowhere on the pack does it have it in English. I don't know, but anyway, it's it's fat-free cream cheese, and I use that for salsa chicken. Some turkey pepperoni for snacking and for our pizzas one night. Uh, Texas toast to go along with the eggplant parmesan. I also have spaghetti on the menu one night as well, so the Texas toast will go great with that. We were running low on waffles, so I picked up a big thing of the buttermilk. And the only meat that I picked up from uh, H-E-B, I did pick up a few things of meat from Costco was chicken. I thought I had enough chicken and I actually only had one pack. This is four and a half pounds. I only had one pack of two and a half pounds left in the freezer. So I picked up, this will give us two meals. We'll use three breasts and three best breasts for one meal each. So I picked up two of those and they're both four and a half pounds worth and we'll get four meals out of this. Um, how much was it? Nine. 
and nine eighteen dollars so not bad um, you know considering I had to really stock up on my fruits and vegetables and I got hardly any pantry items compared to what I normally get I'd say a hundred and you know eighty five dollars is not too bad so that was my H-E-B haul for the second time today I'm gonna put everything away I will have a very nice stocked fridge freezer pantry it always makes me feel good to come back from vacation and get us all fresh things and get back into a decent eating routine and all that good stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed this grocery haul let me know in the comments below what you thought we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching